Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be talking about the Hill Amplifier. The Hill Amplifier already have a video on, and it's also up to date. But I think this is a good time to discuss on how to build this with no pre-built structures. All right, and take this step by step and how to build it with me. And there's going to be two sides to this. There's going to be the west side over here. Right? And then there's going to be the south side over here, right? So there's two spots that we have to consider when building this. Now let's go over to the south side over here. And this, they're going to spawn right over here around this lava bomb. And we're going to try to path them all the way towards the east. Going all the way over here. And there's going to be tons and tons of wall launchers. And this might seem really excessive. But keep in mind that wave 9 does have the anomalies. And these anomalies can block traps from activating so that's why this is kind of excessive for that but because of how excessive it is we can actually do really well on later waves as well and there's also going to be two different spawns so they could be split up in the amount of husk that can potentially spawn on this amplifier all right now once they actually launch these husks all the way towards the east side over here what we're going to end up seeing is that we have these wall launchers and these wall launchers are all healing wall launchers so that they launch them back over here right once we launch them back and then we should be good to go and the reason being is because uh, they can actually start going back to this regular path and if the husks are too close to the wall over here it seems like they want to hit on these walls so that's why i want to just launch them back and then they'll prevent them from hitting the walls all right and then this is going to be the spot where we're going to have the assassin husks coming from right so the assassin husks will come over here we're going to use a freeze trap right and this freeze trap is going to be i think the double reloaders with durability and effect duration this is going to be the double double crit gas trap this is going to be healing wall dynamo and a healing wall launcher with three times impact double reload and sorry actually now this one is three times durability I can find it there. there it is three times durability double reload and healing right so that's this particular wall launcher over there all right and for this assassin husk uh, to path over there you need to make sure that this part over here is empty one two three make sure you have no slants in this area and you should be fine with the assassin husk pathing over there all right if you have these over here right so suppose i start building these in here right the assassin husk will actually start breaking on these walls instead right because they can path down here <coughs> which is really odd but just keep these empty and you should be fine and this would actually still work for the uh lava uh, for the lava amplifier all right and also another thing to note as the amp lava amplifier is that i've done a little bit of updates on the lava amplifier over here as you can see i have done some little updates here and there i would had that wall launcher back uh, from that picture but yeah i've done a little bit of changes here and there uh, but yeah all of these changes should be available in the uh, description for the lava amplifier so with that in mind i'm going to go back to hill and try to make sure that you uh, get it, the no notion that you need to launch these husks all the way towards the east. We have a wall over here to prevent them from launching too far, but the husky husks still can roll over. And once they roll over, they would get launched back, right? So that's pretty much the idea. And we want to make sure that all these wall launchers over here have three times impact to guarantee to launch the husky husk back. Um, this one can be have no impact, and that's okay, because these are work for the assassin husks in particular. All right, so uh, with that in mind, we also want to make sure that we have a significant lava shield over here. So this lava shield needs to be big enough for the flingers and lovers. All right, and also they can lob from over here into over there. So that's why I have this part over here. All right, now when we go over to the west side over here, what we're going to notice is that we have some block off over here. And then we have this part over here, and this is for the assassin hus, right? Because this is one layer, and these other two are two layers, right? So the assassin hus will go over here, double double crit gas, the healing wall dynamo, and the freeze trap over here. This freeze trap in particular have the double uh, reload, triple impact, right? So this one's got the impact version, but I don't think it really matters because all assassin hus will get freezed anyway. Um, I think I did have a husk phasing through here at uh, one time. So I may want to try something like this over here. Maybe. 
to prevent it, but it seemed really rare for a husk to be phasing over there. So, but I can still try it out and see what happens. Okay. <coughs> um, now, there's also going to be a lava shield over here. As you can see, it is fairly large. Uh, but we want to make sure that we cover all possible lava and flint response, right? Uh, and similar concept to the hill south or the hill west, we're going to be launching them away. Right? In this case, we're going to be launching towards the north, right? We're going to launch towards the north over here, and then they can either go down here, right? Which this would get them into the lava, or they would get those things into the lava too, which, oops, I did not mean to kill myself. Well accidents do happen and uh yeah but let's go on to building so over here as you can see right we have these slants over here right and these are going to be triple impact and this is just so that they can launch straight down into the lava right with no uh, delays <coughs> all right and we're going to try to path them all the way up here right so we're going to path them all the way up here and then there's just going to be some recycling to happen over here right to launch them back and yeah and i did this little trick over here right and this little trick i think it's pretty cool and i might actually try it for the um the hill south but essentially this little trick saves me a little bit of tiles because i just use a uh half stair over here because all the pus can path in the half stairs and i can still utilize the wall launcher and the wall light and they'll be guaranteed to get slowed from this wooden floor spike anyways i don't need, really need a trap over there I think what I could do is actually implement this over here. Let me check. All right, so I could try to do this over here. Save this and then do this. And that. So I could try to implement it over here and see if that would still work. All right. Um, but yeah, that'll be interesting to find out. Um, but yeah, if you're not 100% certain, you can just use the old design over here, which is using these and this, right? I'm going to try this out and see if this can still work. All right. Uh, whoops, I did not mean to break that. Put the... There we go. All right. So, now. Oh, yeah. Actually, I think this one I'm going to use the double. There we go. Now, let's go back to over here. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I did this little trick here, and it saves a couple of structures, right? Uh, because I don't nearly need to use these half of the walls over here. All right. So with that in mind, I can go ahead and start building, I guess, right? Uh, oh yeah, another thing I want to mention too is that I did this little thing over here, which is basically I'm going to be using a block off over here to prevent them from going here, because this spot I actually do need to have a five layers over here, right? So I have one layer over here, two layer over here, and three layers. And then we have four or five back here, right? Because this one, I'm not using this anymore, right? To prevent the connectivity, and also to make sure that the uh, husks behave properly. Whereas over here, I am using four layers, right? So this one's only gonna be four layers. One, two, three, four, right? So this one, I only needed four layers. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think we are good to go and try to build this from scratch, right? Um, and hopefully I can do it because this is actually something I haven't tried in a very long time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back and I just did a structure count and this hill amplifier costs about 270 structures, right? For both the east and west side and as well any other possible uh, assassin plot cost that I might need. All right, so it's actually not that bad considering I'm actually building for two sides, right? Uh, it's actually a little bit cheaper than the beach amplifier. Um, but yeah, we can go ahead and start building. So the first thing I'm going to do is build the amplifier design, right? Because I know they're going to be coming in from over here, right? So I know they're going to be coming in from over here, right? Uh, let me just make it a little bit more clear. Oops. So I know they're going to be coming in from this side over here, right? Pathing all the way straight. And I also know that they're going to be pathing from over here, right? So pathing over here. 
right somewhere down here so because of that I do want to factor that in right so there we have it from there and there and the way I do this little design right for my testing right is that I'm gonna first build walls all surrounding it except for here right so make sure you don't build walls over here and build walls all surrounding it like so right so from facing there go all the way around go all the way around go all the way around over here right so so far as you can see I put, built the walls just like this right build all the way around and then what I'm gonna do is to make sure that I do not put a wall over here right so these two walls are the priority walls because they're right next to this battery panel over here right so i'm not going to do that instead i'm going to make it so that they try to target this wall over here right and so that they want to do a u-turn all the way around right now if i left this open this they would target the wall so i need to put this over here and this would add additional layer and the mini bosses would go over here instead, right? And that's pretty much the design I want to try to go for, right? When you have that kind of design, you should have the mini bosses dancing. However, we need to also add additional walls to ensure that, hey, we actually have the husks not going bonkers, right? So first thing we're gonna do is put a roof on top as such, right? Put a roof on top as such, and then you should be uh, okay with uh, certain things, like in terms of the lobber, Lover's going crazy, and then this is going to be for the rest of the husks, right? The slant over there with a wall, right? On um, over there. Right here, what I'm going to do is put a wall here and a wall there. All right. So far, so good. We have an amplifier design like this so far. And then lastly, this is something that it seems to be I need, is that I'm going to put walls all the way over here. All right. I'm gonna put walls all the way over here and we should be good to go on this amplifier design right now I might try to do a little bit more testing to see if I can remove one wall right let's see if I can remove one wall like say over here and see if it's still okay right but, you know this is again you no know, you gotta have to test things one by one to see if they work all right but for the video just assume that you have this wall over here right because I'm assuming that this connecting to this should be enough for this amplifier design but uh, yeah you never know okay so with that in mind I am also going to do the block off for this amplifier right so there's going to be an amplifier block off right because you can see over there and there the husk can path on there right so what I'm going to do is put this over here just like that so we have seven of these little ball uh, pyramids over here and then walls us off as shown like this, right? So we should have a total of 11 structures on this block off as such. Okay, and once we have that in mind, we will move on. <coughs> All right, so I'm gonna move this over here and I'm gonna start off with the west side, right? I'm gonna do the lava shield last. As a lava shield is pretty much up to you exactly how you want to do it, but I could show you mine. Um, All right, so, what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna do the block off, right? So just like this, all the way over here. So I'm gonna do this little zigzag over here. Wall this like this. Right, so this is an additional block off. And then slant over here. And yep, that is it for the block off. That's all you need as long as you follow that structures over there. This is all you need for this block off. All right, and I see people spam tons and tons of block off over here, which makes me question like, uh, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> All right, so we have that over there, and then we're gonna put walls like that. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that these lava spurring out can damage the propane. So, what I like to do is also put these flat floors underneath, right? Um, but these are totally up to you if you want to place these flat floors to prevent the propanes from going on here to take damage, right? Uh, this one I put for sure this one I may not put depending on because there is a rare spawn over here Which could maybe they might path all the way along here Right, so this over here. There's a rare spawn. So maybe I'll keep this one uh, All right With that in mind I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna put some floors over here, right? So put some floors over here and put a wall over here Right, in this wall, I tend to put a, uh, a wall light, so let's go ahead and put that in there. 
I'm gonna wall light with durability. This one I'm gonna put wooden floor spike, and I think the wooden floor spike I'm gonna use is this one. All right, but it's up to you which one you want to use. You can even put a wooden floor spike over here if you wish, but I chose not to. Um, all right, and then these ones over here, because they're not doing anything, I might as well add some crowd control. I think the crowd control I'm gonna use is gonna be the two times impact, the two times impact single reloads over here. All right, and I'm gonna figure out exactly how I'm gonna launch them, right? And I think I launched them something like, uh, and launch them something like that over here. Yeah, I think I did something like that. All right. So this is just high enough where these floor launchers will work and launch them all the way back up. All right. So we need a minimum of two times impact. Okay. Um, and then I have a block off over here because if the uh, husks over here land over here, for some reason, they phase through this wall, which doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna block that by doing that, All right? So it'll be just enough to launch them from here, but it'll be, won't be far enough to launch them over these walls. All right, next, I'm gonna put this little half wall over here. And because I know there are gonna be some husks coming over here, the density over here is not gonna be consistent, right? So this is good enough for this wooden floor spike to be used, right? I can use this, use this wooden floor spike, but you can use whatever wooden floor spike you got, right? I just chose the faster reload ones. <coughs> because, but most people are not gonna have this, so just use whatever ones you got. This is for mine. All right. Um, another thing I could do at the front is add some durability wall launchers. I could probably add one over here too, but I chose not to just to save on structures because I don't think it's needed with the S excess amount of launching going on. Okay. <clears throat> now, what I'm gonna do is use triple impact wall launchers. And I think it's really critical I use the triple impact wall launchers over here because I wanna launch them really, really far. Right? I don't want to launch them too little because if they land, start landing over here, they might actually change their pathing, right? So I want to reduce that risk. Wall launcher over here. And then I'm going to put these ones over here. So wall launcher over there, triple impact. And I'm going to use a wall light. And the wall I'm going to use is triple impact as well. The double reloads. And then over here, I'm going to be using tar pit, right? Because there's going to be enough crap control going on over here, there's not going to be too much density over here. Might as well use a tar pit. Start using triple impact over here. And I'm going to use a floor over here, a little half wall to ensure they're still going towards the edge. And then from here, because wave nine, this is just the, for the excess part of wave nine. Uh, I might actually do a triple impact again over here because I'm not expecting flingers to come over here. So if so, it's okay if they launch them really far. Um, and then from here, I might just do five times impact or something. Um, yeah, yeah, why not? I'll just do five times impact and launch them all the way over there. I don't think triple impact. Maybe triple impact might not be enough, so I'm just gonna get the big bangers. Why not? Um, now, as well, you can put a target over here too. I'm not sure if I did to save on structures, but uh, yeah, I'll leave it up to you if you want to put it on there. All right. But yeah, that's pretty much the basic idea of what we got over here. All right. Um, now, let's go on to this part over here. Oh, I might actually add this uh, healing wall launcher. And so far, I haven't experienced Hus phasing in here, but it looks like it could be possible Hus phasing might happen. Um, but if that, I'll put this dynamo over here just in case and check down the durability, right? Um, but I don't think it's needed because I haven't seen it yet. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out. Now over here, I'm gonna use to try to make the assassin tunnel over here, right? Oh, assassin block off, like that. And to make sure they path over there, just put these walls over here. 
and husk phasing might i did see it once over here so i might see if this would prevent that husk phasing if not i would have to do something inside in here right like maybe dynamos or something but uh, again that's something for me to test out right or husk phasing could, could be possible in here too which i guess i have these over here which i'll put that over there just for the assassin husk but yeah i would have to check it out uh, because us phasing is something I want to try to deal with without, you know, letting it happen and just not do anything. Now this freeze trap over here, I'm just going to use the durability. You can use these ones as well if you just only have one freeze trap because the durability doesn't really matter too much. Double double crit. And I'm going to put a dynamo over here and make sure that the dynamo over here is, uh, is healing. And this is the wall that they're going to try to break on. Alright, so with that in mind, we should be good to go on this block off or the west side. Another thing to keep in note as well is that for this triple impact wall launcher, they're going to launch them really, really far. But we want to make sure that they launch into the lava, right? Especially fingers. So we're going to do this wall launcher here. And then we're going to do the wall spike on the other side. And this is just in case they want to, uh, Assassin has want to break on the other side. <coughs> Another thing to keep a note as well with this, right, is that even though a flinger is in the lava and they can throw things, but chances are that they won't really do enough to be a threat, right? Uh, and that's pretty much what's going to end up happening. They only become a threat for the pit amplifier over here, and this is where they become really threatening because it's on the same path thing right here, and they actually seem to pat throw on here, which is really odd. So the, the pit uh, flingers are very dangerous, but for the heal, they don't seem to be dangerous at all. But if you want to be extra skeptical, right, if you want to, you could always use a uh, anti-air up here, right? But for my testing, it didn't seem like it was needed, right? Okay, so with that in mind, I think the uh, west side is good to go, and I'm going to move on to the south, right? For the south over here, and just pick up some metal. Okay. So the south side over here, they're going to spawn here, and then we're going to try a path from towards the east, right? So we're going to put this over here. I'm going to start building up that block off, right? And I think I'm going to do it like this. So I have to remember exactly how I built it. I think I made it actually over here. Yes, that's where I did it. I made that block off over here. Right, so that's where I'm going to start the block off layer, right? And the one thing I want to keep my note is making sure that you have wall launchers for the assassin husk that may come and try to ruin your day right so the double reload and healing wall launchers right and triple impact all right and this block off over here for this particular pathing so i'm just going to draw the pathing this is experimental pathing over here which i'm doing but i'm hoping that should still work all right but if you're extra skeptical just go ahead and just use the one that I've been doing this entire time, right? So we have that, we have that. Yeah, so this is pretty much the path I'm going to use. I'm not going to put a wall launcher here because it seems like Smashers do have a problem when they get staggered over here and they seem to want to break this. So I'm just going to prevent that from happening. So we have this wall, 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 and wall, finally. So lots of that, and this is the experimental path and I'm going to try to uh, work out, and hopefully it should still work. Okay, and the wall launchers I'm going to use over here, this one is going to be uh, zero impact, this one's going to be a zero impact over here, a zero impact over there. I might actually put a uh, double reload over here instead actually. And then this one, I'm going to use the uh, no impact wall white with double reload. And two wooden floor spikes over here. And I think I'm going to use, I think I'm just going to use these ones. Two wooden floor spikes. That should be enough to slow all the husks. And then they can come up here, which then I'll start doing. I think this one we're also going to do the double, the double reload zero impact. And the rest I'm going to go all the way across with triple impacts. And I 
think I'm gonna put the tar pits all the way across. I think two tar pits should be good enough. Maybe. Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a look and see. But I think two tar pits should be good enough. If you're really skeptical, just put another one down. And yeah, looks like it's pretty good so far. So this block off, evil, evil block off. So how am I gonna do it? So let's go ahead and try to do that. And hopefully I can remember how to do it. But if not, I'll just go ahead and cheat and look at the pictures that I already have. So I'm gonna put a sandwich over there. Oh, I think one way I actually did this, right? I remember one way I think I can remember is I think I did this, right? So I have a wall, I have the block off over here. So I'm gonna start from over here. So I had the block off way over here. And I have slants all the way across like this. So slant, 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 <coughs> slant. Right, so I had these slants all the way over here and just fill in the gaps. All right, fill in the gaps, gaps with sandwiches from there. So do that, 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 fill in the gaps. Fill in the gaps over here. And just keep on spamming sandwiches like you've never spammed sandwiches before. Be like, oh, look at these. What are these? Yes, just go ahead and build sandwiches. And I think this one. So in this corner over here, I'm going to build the sandwich like this. And this should be okay. All right, we should have a block off looking like that, right? I'm gonna actually look at my YouTube and uh, you know what, and check that out. Well, let's go ahead and look at YouTube right now. So let's see, look on YouTube. Let's go to my channel. Let is, let's go to the hill amplifier. We're gonna do this together. Let's go to the hill amplifier over here. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about the Hill Amplifier. And, I'm really happy with. So, and then I have a bunch of updates over here, and let's take a look. Updated the block off on the amplifier and the south. So, there we go. And it looks identical. Good. That's awesome. And the south side, yeah, yeah, I should update that picture, but I'm gonna have this video anyway, so yeah, looks like it's exactly how I have it there, which is wonderful. All right, let's go back to Fortnite. So, yep, make sure you have this block off like shown, and you should be good to go. All right. Okay, so with that in mind, we can move on. Now, another thing to note as well is that this particular wall launcher will launch them all. We're going to launch them, you know, try to block this off over here somehow, right? So I'm going to try to do something like, um, I'm going to put a roof on here for now. All right, so to, after two wall launchers, put roof here. I'm going to start doing this over here, right? So they launch them and then slant downwards. And from this particular wall, I'm going to have a wall over here with the double impact. The double reload triple impact. I actually might do a healing one. The healing wall launcher, double reload triple impact, because the assassin has, might want to come over here and just launch the back. And then put the wall all the way across. Put this wall all the way across, all the way across. Put this wall all the way across, all the way until here, right? So we're from this first window floor spike, put that wall from there all the way across. And this is really critical for this wall launcher to launch them over, to launch them to that wall and make sure that they don't uh, go too far. All right. So I'm going to do the same thing all the way across over here. Slide this all the way across, just as shown right there. Okay. Um, all right. Now, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and put this over here. Alright, I think I put that over there. I would have to remember how to do this lava shield, actually. Um, you know what? 
this is a good time to cheat. So let's see, how did I do this lava shield? Uh, something like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that over here. So again, there are times where I just don't remember how to do these, right? So I did this over here. So from here, I'm gonna put the uh, slants over here, two slants. Put the roof over here and go all the way across like this. Looking good so far. And I'm gonna put this slant like this. Right, so far so good, just like that. And then slant this all the way across like this. And what's gonna be really important is that I cover all the possible lumber spots, right? So over here, this should cover all the possible lumber spots for the amplifier, right? Okay. And then from there, what I'm gonna do is uh, slant this upwards, right? And then to slant this upwards, I'm gonna do this, right? I'm gonna put four, four over here. And then from this one, I'm gonna put four on top, going all the way across. And there we go, we have a lobber shield, and this should be uh, good enough. All right, that's all the lobber shield you need. <coughs> all right, and then the lobber shield for this side over here, all right? So this side, actually, I'll do that after the, the uh, heal self. All right, so once we have that, now keep in mind that this hill is actually with my lava amplifier, right? So you can see those are empty again, and this is very critical that those are empty. So what I'm gonna do is put three walls, right? So three walls over here, three walls, and then we're gonna do a block off in here, right? And then we're gonna put three walls again over here. All right, you can see. And then each of those three walls, I'm going to do the healing wall launchers with double reload, triple impact, go all the way across. Okay. And then we do the double, double crit for the gas trap over here. We do the uh, freeze trap over here. And then I'm going to do a wall launcher. And this wall launcher, I'm going to use the, uh, what's it called? I'm going to use the durability. If I can find it, there it is. And then you can use the dynamo over here, which is going to be healing. Because these are the two walls that they want to break. And the reason why they want to break this wall is because so they can go on here and diagonally path downwards here. Right, same thing over here, they can diagonally path downwards here. So these are actually the two culprits that are going to be uh, for that. Right? They don't want to break on this wall because down here is a box. Okay. So those are the two volt danger boxes over there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then this spot you see all the way across over here, this is going to be having the flingers and assassin. Uh, particularly the lobbers and flingers. So we need to block this part off. And I think the way I do that is, um, I think I do something like this. I would actually have to remember how the heck did I do this. I think I did this. Yes, I think I did this. Because this can't, it can't fling from here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and did that. Yes, exactly like that. Alright, and then, so from there, I just slant this across here. Now, what I did notice, right, what I did notice is that uh, one time I did have a hole under here when I did this all the way across. So I'm going to build this upwards like this, and then box this up like that. All right, and we should have something looking like that. All right, something looking like that, straight across. And we have two flat roofs out there, slant this outwards connecting, and we have three of these slants over here, right? Three of these. Okay. And this should cover all the possible lobber and flinger spots. Okay. And this doesn't seem to be a, f a flinger spot over here. And these ones, I think so. All right. Uh, but I may see if I can cut a little bit of tile over here. Maybe I can. All right. And I think one indication I do do 
is this kind of, there's a little, certain little test I can do. So from here, do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is so this is pretty much the spot that we can do from. Do nine, one, two, three, four. Oh, actually, yeah, something like that. One, two, three, four. And it seems like this over here they could fling from, but this one's just blocking it, so I think this one is okay. Alright. Um, okay then. Should be good to go on that, but I could try to just for experimental sake. I could try to remove some just to see what happens. All right, um, but yeah, I think that is it for this part. Now I need to do the lava shield on the um, the west side. So this lava shield should be fairly large. And let me cheat a little bit. So let's see what it's looking like, and that's what it's looking like. All right. So with that in mind, I am going to go ahead and start building it. All right. So uh, we have this scroll across, just like that. So this is very important to have these lumber shields right below, uh, right above this block off over here, and go all the way across. So I'm going to do all the way over here. I think I might do it over here. Yeah, I think I need to do it all the way over here, too. So, yeah, that is a lumber shield so far. And then we can go ahead and keep building it. So, from the center of over here, I'm going to build this just like that. Whoops. Uh, what did I do? There we go. I'm going to remove those. And then... So we have that and this across. So from the center of that, we're going to have five of these tiles over there. All right. This is what the lava shield looks like so far. Okay. All right. Um, now I'm going to build the slants over here. Looking good. Right, so build those slants across like that and then I do know that these are possible finger spots over here and lava spots so I do have to factor those in when building this so I think what I'm going to do to make this a little easier is flat, flatten these out like that slant this over here and go all the way across like that and then slant this over here and voila. So this is for this little lobber spots over here. Because sometimes the lobber might end up over here. So these are for those lobber spots. And they don't seem to go all the way around over there. Alright, so that is the lobber shield. It looks fairly big, but uh, for the hill west, it seems like it's actually uh, needed. Now, it's n keep in mind that, yes, there are certain spots that it doesn't cover. For example, there's a flinger spot over here. It will not cover. There is a flinger spot over here, which will not cover, but this will launch them anyway. Um, there is a flinger spot over here, I think, somewhere. Or no, actually, no, not here. Um, but yeah, there are flinger spots in random places, and the most notable one is this one. But as long as you don't launch the husk over here, as long as you don't launch the flinger over there, they will never path there. It's way too out of their way for them to path. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that is it for this design, right? I think that is it for this design. Uh, let's see. It's looking good. It's looking great. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start upgrading everything. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. As you can see, it's looking pretty good so far. Uh, what I'm gonna do is actually add the tar pit over here. 
and a tar pit on the other side. This is just as extra precaution, but this is totally optional. Actually, maybe I don't need this one. Hmm. You know, I don't know. Yeah, I'll, need it. I'll, I'll just add it just in case, right? So I'm just gonna add it just in case, but I think they are very optional in my opinion to have those tar pits there. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna come back in a few days and check things out. So yeah, let's wait back a few days. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back from testing. And after a few days, I was able to actually uh, do some changes over here to make the build even better. And one of the changes I did is at this block off on the hill west. And I think this block off is a lot better than the previous one. And what it's going to do is just trying to push everything just a little bit forward over here. Right? And it's going to be a, a huge gap over here. And this gap uh, was going to end up doing is that it's going to help kill any potential assassin husk that may uh that may face through right or any weak husk that may face through and it'll just zap them and then that's it right and i'm going to also use a wall light over here and this one's going to have healing so let me go to the healing wall light and this is the healing wall light over here and i'm going to use that over here and this is going to help with healing up this wall if it ever gets, gets damaged because the damage is very minimal but uh, it can still get damaged so everything over here has been working pretty good so these two are healing dynamos over here and all these walls over here with the wall light and the wall launchers over here are also healing the ones at the front over here they have higher durability healing though so let me go over to that use some wall launcher over here and you can go ahead and use that right and this wall launcher doesn't have healing because it's not necessary <coughs> Okay, and I do have the floor trap over here. Again, this is for the lava spraying out to protect against the uh, propanes. All right, and everything else has been relatively the same. Uh, there's actually only one more change, and, and that's it. Is that I actually put back that wall over here. I actually do need this wall for the uh, husk aggro to make sure they don't go bonkers on this uh, block off for the hill west. And I think that's the only change I did that is necessary. All right. Um, yep, everything else has been exactly the same. Uh, this over here is working just fine. I didn't, because I'm using these uh, half stairs, I no longer need this over here, right? And I actually done this change to my home based uh, east, right? So let's go over to the home based east over here, right? You can probably do this with whatever kind of build you got too, right? Using this kind of strategy. All right, so let's go to the home based east. And you can kind of see I'm using these stairs over here, right? And this would still knock them off the edge, right? While still maintaining the, uh, what was it called? Most, while still having a lower structure count, right? So this saves on structures and I don't have to use this down here, right? So yeah, it's actually saving me a little bit of structures doing this. All right, the only downside is that you can't put a trap over here, right? That's pretty much the main downside of doing this, right? <coughs> but I have to test on wave 21 and wave 11 on the hill uh home on the home based east to see if this is actually still a really good build right because there are no traps on these stairs um and yeah i think that should be pretty much it this, this is another change in the home based east but yeah i'll do another video next video is gonna be 3,000 subs right because i have 3,000 subs and people will be like what do you look like and i'm like hmm well, I have my webcam here, and I'll figure out how to record with it. And yeah, you shall be seeing me, literally me, in the next video. So take care, everybody. And as always, have fun building.